So, uh, you guys are, are going through the, the process and everything. What what has been some of the challenges in putting this thing together? Has it gotten easier as the years go by, or is it getting a little? Does it get tougher at times? It, it's definitely tough, Bub. That's a great, great question because, like, there's been times where I, I wanted to hang it up because, uh, I, I mean, quite honestly, this is a lot of work that goes into the production of these games, and that's the part that I don't think most people will appreciate to have these communications with these pro guys, have this communication, the organization, you know, talking to these gyms, getting your officials, getting the volunteer. I mean, just everything that goes into it, even yeah. in the jersey sizes, because, you know, guys got specific numbers they want and, and things of that nature, but they don't understand that the jersey su supplier has already, I have a time frame in which I got to do it. Right, right. So there's a lot of challenges there. And then, then you also got to look at it from the standpoint of, you know, Florida is different, man. I mean, Central Florida right here is really, really different. I know people told me that prior to going into this, but it is different to the likes of, you know, they have this mentality. If you're not from here, then you can't represent the city. But we can be from here and we don't got to do nothing for the city. And it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, exactly. You're mad at somebody who came here, who's lived over here over a decade now, too, by the way. But you, you're mad at somebody who's coming into town, who's, you know, fed people, clothed people, gotten, given out free, I mean, thousands of folks that dealt with. And you got an issue with how I'm moving. You can always take over. You know what I mean? And I don't, <laughs> I don't got no problem being the person who turns around and supports it. So I think that's, I think that's been one of the biggest challenges because of, uh, like the growth in the product, as far as the actual on-game product, has grown every year. Like this year, I'm super excited about the actual product and the players. The players are ready to play. Like when I say they're ready to play, our games are going to be packed. You know what I mean? And they're going to be jam-packed with excitement, action. It's just the people. Like I wish more people would understand like what this is and what I'm, the ultimate game plan is. I don't even want to talk about it. I, the first couple of years, I used to talk about the game plan and, and what I was going to get ready to do, and I realized I got probably more people against me than for me. But it's okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's okay. I, I don't stop. I, I can't stop. You know, you can't stop what God's ordained, right? Right. So, right. you know, it, it is what it is. So I keep on pushing. Exactly. Exactly. Now, now so I, I, do you want to expound on that or keep it moving? I mean, look, come on. No, no, I'm, I'm asking because when you see the different stuff, right, that that that, that goes on on social media, absolutely, right. Mm -hmm. As it's going on, whether people have negative comments or or whether it's people thinking you should have uh, done things in a different way or a different manner, et cetera, et cetera. Like, how, how do you process all of that? How do you decide? Okay, I'm going to respond to this. Not that that's foolishness yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? that, no, that's I a good you. that's a good point i, I got, got that you. all right so look uh case in point right one i'm not perfect okay so i'll put that out there and here's the thing i don't have any problem being held accountable for things that you know i if i say it i mean it. i stand on everything that i say and if i you know if somebody needs to hold me to the carpet as a man if there was a way and there was something that i felt that you done that, you know, I don't really approve of, guess what? You know, I, I come and holler at you as a man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Face to face, and I don't do that whole social media stuff. Like, the, everything you see I do on social media is for production, it's for having fun. I don't take social media as a real-life scenarios, okay? So, you know, a lot of times people see me out there cracking jokes and saying all kinds of crazy stuff. You know what I mean? That's for entertainment purposes because that's what social media is, man. It's, it's for entertainment purposes. Um, so yeah, to expound on what you said as far as you know the things that are, the things that have happened throughout the community and things of the nature, I see it. I pretty much see it all. You know what I'm saying? Because I got you know when you're your own boss, man, you got your own time. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> you get to sit there and surf, and you see all that the, the different stuff being said and everything else. But you uh, you have to realize is that you know for me personally, you know what God has ordained. You know what I mean? Like. You know, you got to expect people to ca uh, cast stones at you. Like, you, you have to. You right. know what I'm saying? And even if there's something that I, I had, could have done better, address me. You see what I'm saying? Address me personally. You know what I'm saying? It ain't got to be on no gangster thug. Because, like, you know, there's a lot of thugs, man. <laughs> it's, it's so <laughs> many, man. It's, it's so thugs, many, man. man. No, and I, I don't be understanding. You know what I'm saying? It's so because it's many. like, yo, you can come talk to me as a man. Right. Yeah. Just come talk to me as a man. We get it figured out. And if I'm in the wrong, yo, I'm... 
I am a cognitive person who can realize and identify, yo, I done made mistakes. I done made mistakes as a father. I done made mistakes as a husband. You know what I mean? As a work. So I'm going to make some mistakes. And if you see me make a mistake, I don't got no problem with you calling me to the carpet about it. But there's a way that you go about it. You see what I'm saying? And that's just that's the whole thing about it. And it's like, if you're going to do it, I also want to see you supporting in that same way because that's where I I feel that you're coming from a good place. Okay? Like, if you're a person who's been supporting me for years and everything else and you've been showing love, showing, showing up to the game, so on and so forth or whatever may be, or just some of the things that I've done in the community, you've donated money or you donated clothes, um, then I, I get it. But here's the truth of the matter is, you know how many professional basketball players I know? I gotta be, I gotta be. <laughs> Hundreds, if not thousands, yeah. okay? Do you know how many have donated to A's? I, w- I would say probably not that many. One. Mm-hmm. One did? One. That's surprising. Out of all the professional basketball players I know, mm-hmm. one has donated. You know who that one is? Chris Warren. Mm. For real? Chris Warren is the only person ever in the history of Ace mm. over the last five years, whether I'm passing out food, whether I'm... I, 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 mean, I was just going to say, like, this is not just a basketball thing. You guys not, do things in man, the community. Look, the stuff I do in the community, that stuff I don't even go see because I don't think that that's the type of stuff that should even be out. Even in 2000 or 2020, when I was passing out all, them food, all that food, yeah. when y'all seen that stuff, that wasn't my idea to videotape that stuff. That was okay. my partner's idea to saying this is a good way for us to show our nonprofit side and everything. Right, else. right. And I disagreed with it originally because yeah. I I don't believe in doing that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there's a biblical principle that says you know your left hand should never know what your right hand's doing and vice versa. And so it's like my thing is when I work and the things that I do, the stuff that I give to the kids, like you ask some of these principles about me. See, there there's a reason why I was able to, uh, you know, host host a basketball league in the mix of a pandemic <laughs> when a multi-billion dollar organization like the NBA was closed. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That, like, that will always be one of my favorite. That was my favorite day of the pandemic was opening ace day of that. You, I will never see, forget that. So that's, so the people who really know and who really matter, uh, you know, like the city of Orlando with some of the board, ask the board of trustees, like my guy Kevin that's over there, who's on the board, ask him what I do in the community for real, for real. That stuff never goes to social media. I've never talked about it. I'm not even going to talk about all the details. Hell, but I do it. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? And, yeah. and that's the stuff that that's the stuff people just limit me to basketball. But it's much bigger than basketball. Much bigger. For sure, for sure. And you know what I felt uncomfortable with was in the midst of anything that foolishness was going on or, or, or those coming is the peop- the third parties who took sides and was just going hard on that side and it's like because you really don't know what's going on if you're not in it you're not even a part of ace league and you got these strong comments about what ace league or what will is doing and and it's like oh you know oh ace league is not gonna be able to bounce back they're not gonna have next season now they're here then now what i don't know like you know what i mean like i like see that's that's people's trying to put their limitations on you you see what I'm saying, and and that's really what it boils down to. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna give you a true story. A true story is, is that I allow that thought process to hinder me from going to play in the NBA, right? The thought process of being a guy from the hood who was good enough to do it, but as long as I got the respect from the dope boys, the hood cats, you know what I'm saying, and all that type of deal, like yo, yo, he he can really go. I was that good. was good enough. I was good yeah. enough because any time it seemed like I excelled even more, you know, when I won the 1997, you know, U.S. Junior National MVP against Shane Battier and all those guys. When I did that, my name is right there at Eastern Michigan MVP. When I beat out all the top players in the state of Michigan, right, I got pushback. I got pushback from the hood. Like, talking about I was getting commercial. You see what I'm saying? Because, like, <laughs> you grew up the way I grew up, just – you, you got some people who really don't want to see you succeed. And I was still young and stupid enough to realize, like, you know, like I, I, I would rather have their accolations and have their praise for me than to me go be successful. You exactly. see what I mean? And that's the thought process. Hence why Ace got created. You know, because I know there's a lot of young men out here that feels the same way. Exactly. exactly. Sort of lift the limitations that yes. that some of these environment puts on them. Yes, and that's really what it is. I mean, think about it. I'm an outsider coming in, said I was going to do this, started doing it, and has done it. Like, you see what I mean? Like, I, I just got back from Vegas a few hours ago. They know what Ace is out in Vegas. 
You see what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. And so what, what we're talking about is now we've stretched to the point now where we're across the country. Like literally, my guy Ja and all them in Atlanta, they know who I am. Debo and them down in Miami, they know who I am. Like wherever you want to go, my guy Mason Brawley and all them guys up in Dallas and all, yeah. them, they know who I am. Like we're here, Ace is here. We're not going nowhere. At the end of the day, like I, whatever people decide that they, I don't like Will, I don't like Ace, and that is your prerogative. As a grown man, I have no. I feel no emotional, you know, anything when a grown man said, I think we'll a fuck nigga or he this or <laughs> he that. I, I have no, no, no different. You can think I'm a clown. You can say I'm a clown. That is your prerogative. I don't, what, I'm not going to let, you know, I'm in my mid forties now. So now, you know, you get to this age, just like how you feel about me directs. My life? That don't even make sense. It don't make sense. I literally yeah. was just talking about yeah, that a couple yeah, weeks no, ago. No, yeah, Bubba Bub was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he, yeah. As long as he's got, you know, what he needs, if he's got money and coochie, he doesn't care about respect. Yeah, that I, is what you're saying. Like, no, no, I mean, like, like, but, like, but real, no, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Be honest. I mean, if you want to say coochie, wife, if you're hearing this. Yeah. Thing, <laughs> uh, but, like, at the end of the day, like, you know, my wife loves me. My Your kids family. love me. Yeah. Like, who is these people that, you know, oh, we're like this and we're like that. And, you know, he was like, yo, you were entitled to feel that way. I'm not trying to change your opinion of it. Well, it whatever it is, it's it a is. little bit of like the, the like the, the notion of the man in the arena. Like if you were going to step forward and try to accomplish anything, you have to recognize that that's going to come with hatred. Yes. It's, it's just you can't you have to accept that or you'll never get out of the blocks or never get into that arena to begin with. You know, no matter what it is, if it's if it's you know like building the Ace League and stuff like that, if it's pursuing a professional career, if it's, it's doing anything in the public sphere, you have to accept that hatred will follow. Oh, absolutely, and be comfortable with that. Yeah, you, no, that's what, facts. What did uh, LeBron said? I think it was LeBron, and you know, just me mentioning that, you're gonna get a <laughs> <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna get a couple people that's gonna feel some type of way. Just me mentioning that name, boy, that's a truth. <laughs> boy, I you mentioned it so yeah, much. I know. That I do it on purpose though, because you know, if to you, drive me crazy. Like, like, no, no, honestly, pink, pink, this is what I do it for, man. I, honestly, because I know it triggers people in such ways just by the mere mention of his name. And the fact that a lot of these guys, do you realize on my friends list how many people that don't actually like me, but they can't stop following me because I'm so interested? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, that's dude. That is, yo, I am dead serious. No, I, dead I, I agree with I you because ass. because I, I remember. Do you remember the Howard Stern movie? Yes. They, there was a yes. scene in there, and they were breaking down the numbers when he was first kind of rising. And it's like the average person that loves Howard Stern listens for 32 minutes. The average person that hates Howard Stern listens for 47 and a half minutes. Yes. And it was like real stats. And it's that weird thing where it's just like, even when you don't like it, you can't separate yourself from it. Exactly. It's crazy. Exactly. 